All right, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to anything that you do, discipline is key. Discipline is key. And in order to become happier, more satisfied in your life, you have to have the mindset where like, instead of like wanting things to be necessarily easier or more comfortable, have some level of self-discipline to, which will na naturally make you appreciate things more and also bring motivation and self-encouragement throughout your life. Now, some of you guys might be in middle school, high school, for example, college, and you look forward to the weekend all the time, which is understandable, but you can make yourself happier right now if instead of like looking so much towards the weekend all the time, look forward to getting up early in the morning to go to school Monday through Friday, and you'll become happier with your life as opposed to sleeping in. Sleeping in is not gonna make you happier, it's gonna make you lazier. So one of the things why people gravitate to Islam so much because Islam encourages discipline. Every day as Muslims are required to uh, get up and pray Fajr, you know? And one of the best things about getting up in the morning and praying Fajr is that like you have to inconvenience yourself to worship the unseen. You have to lose sleep, whether you stay up late, whether you go to bed early, you have to get up early in the morning and, and worship the most high. And that level of discipline can carry over to other areas of your life. So even for me today, like seven days a week, I work from Fajr prayer to usually late night every single day as an entrepreneur. And at least I can look forward to praying Fajr in the morning. It's kind of how I gave my life now, it's from Fajr to Fajr, you know, is that it at least had to get up and inconvenience myself to staying in, sleeping in, and being less satisfied in my life, you know? And if I have to go back to sleep after Fudger sometimes, then I can do that, but at least I can start my day with that level of discipline and inconvenience. And sometimes in life, things might become more comfortable or more suitable or more easier to do certain tasks, you know? Like if you become an adult, it's easier to drive places and, and do certain things. But if you have the mindset of making things work now, wherever, wherever composition you're in right now, whether you're broke, because I'm broke, whether you're an adult, because I'm an adult, whether you're, you have money or don't have money, if you try to make things work in the now as opposed to the later, because nobody's guaranteed the future, you can make yourself more happy and your life better with some level of discipline. If you want to be a fighter, I'm a professional fighter. If you say, well, I'm gonna wait till I'm this level champion to like run like uh, five miles, you know, a couple days a week as a fighter instead of running two miles, then it's gonna take you that much longer to get better as a fighter. If you decide to say, I'm, I'm gonna wait till I get to this level or after a few months, I'm gonna push this hard in training. Well, then you're gonna, it's gonna take you that much longer to get better at whatever kind of goal you have as a fighter or an athlete. But if you start putting that pressure of being good on yourself in the now, the right now, because you make that conscious choice with your brain and your hands, then that will make you better in the now. Making the decision to do things in the now, as opposed to, you know, in the future tense, is far more powerful because later can sometimes turn into never. We all have things that we wish we could have done or had wanted to do that never happened. But the things you do right now, like, you know, deciding to pray, deciding to eat, deciding to work out, deciding to do whatever, is far more powerful. The choices you make right now are gonna be far more powerful and impactful than the choices that you made, you're gonna make in the future. And better yet, the choices you make right now are gonna be far more powerful than the choices you ever made in the past. And I'm not saying I'm perfect or I'm holding that like even I struggle. I got plenty of X amount of problems and things going on in my life. But at minimum, I can at least try to face them every day until I can't. And as far as I'm concerned, as long as I'm still alive, as long as I still have a healthy body, as long as I'm still able to do physical actions, then I have the power to make the choices that are gonna be powerful to impact my life for the future, make my life better for the future. You can make your life, your life better and things can, it's like for example, you go into a video game and you reach a new level, the enemies are more difficult to fight, the boss is more difficult to fight, whatever the case may be, but you might have more skill sets, more weapons, more powers, and you have more abilities to do things in a level that you control. So like, for example, you pick any game from Legend of Zelda, the Spider-Man or Call of Duty, when, once you have more tools and skills or assets to your disposal, regardless of how difficult those games are or how difficult they may become, you still have more control over yourself in those simulations. And life basically works the same way. So discipline is key. If you focus on trying to tackle the hard stuff in the immediate future as opposed to dealing with them later, it'll just make you, I, I believe, personally a lot healthier, mentally strong, and ambitious.
that's the word I was looking for earlier. So guys, that's gonna wrap my video why discipline is key. Don't forget to run like that. Don't forget to comment below guys and tell me how much discipline matters to you. Don't forget to cop some King Camara, Brian Mises, MHD, whatever kind of merch I got off my websites. The link will be in the description box below. The most important guy, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to give you guys more content on a regular basis. It's your boy, honorable, beautiful black man, Brian Mises. I'll see you guys next time.